Anything else? Yeah. They're not chanting really. It looks like they're chanting, but they're not chanting. Real chanting is not like that. Real chanting is not just mouthing the words. If you're chanting, you're actually purifying your heart. But you can chant with offense. And that kind of chanting, it says that you can one, one chants with offense, man, one may be chanting for thousands of lifetimes and never get the result of this chanting, which is pure love of God. You know, those who are, you have to chant, and you turn out a piece in each chant. We should cultivate that mood. The Shikshastakam prayers are, are a series of steps towards the perfection. The third prayer is the, the stage of how you should live. It's our consciousness. We should cultivate these four qualities. Tolerance, humility, pridelessness, and respect for others. And chant the holy names. And it says if you're, chant, if you're cultivating these things and chanting, then you can chant always. But if you're not, then you may be doing some lip service, but you're not getting much out of that. Anybody can sound the words. But real chanting you know, brings about you know, a purification of heart. Of course, even in the higher stages, people can commit offenses. And one of the offenses is to find fault with Vaishnavas. Because one of the things you have to be careful is that you, as you make advancement through the process of chanting, you can, false pride can enter. You can become, what we say, fixed in your Krishna consciousness, and then you start becoming a little bit self-assured or proud. And then you start to think, I'm advanced, I'm better than these other devotees. I know more Shastra, I have better understanding, I, I know this, like that. And then that false pride causes you to make mistakes or to criticize. And then it causes you to commit offense and offense blocks your spiritual progress. So chanting means cultivating these qualities. That's the third verse. Then, if you're chanting, then what's the fourth verse? Nadanam, Najanam, Nasundaram. I don't want wealth. I don't want followers. I don't want the pleasures of the opposite sex. I don't even want liberation. What do I want? Janmani, Janmani, Ishvari, Bhavatad, Bhakti. I want causeless devotional service at your lotus feet. That's all I want. So, if by cultivating the third verse, the fourth verse manifests nicely. Lord Chaitanya is teaching what is the quality of a Vaishnava. He's not aspiring for any material things. But that aspiration comes into reality when we cultivate these qualities on the basis of the third verse. The third verse is the platform of steadiness in our spiritual practice. If you're always cultivating these qualities, you'll always be steady in your spiritual progress. If you're not cultivating them, that means you're trying to develop them. Cultivation means you're trying to develop them. And then you're on the mental platform. You, you act according to how you feel rather than how you, how you should act. <laughs> if we act according to how we feel, then we're on the mental platform because feelings are always changing. We should always be acting in accordance with the qualities of a Vaishnava. <laughs> 
And then that allows for us to make, for the holy name to manifest. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay, almost seven o'clock. Time for RT. Okay, 32 rounds. Are you fired up? Ready? Tomorrow, 32 rounds. Arriba. It's an experience. It's nice. We want to move forward in our Krishna consciousness. We're not satisfied where we are. We want to always make advancement. What is that advancement? That developing a taste for the holy name. That's the advancement. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Go Primarandi Hari Hari Bo.